Well, with the unofficial start of summer happening this weekend, many Central New Yorkers are getting set to get outdoors and head to the lake. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla joining us live right now. She's in Fairhaven for us. And, Nicole, we know you've been checking out the situation there for boaters. Show us why they've got to be extra careful this weekend. All right, and Christy, unfortunately, it is not going to be one of those Memorial Day weekends where you can go out water skiing, doing those high speed boat rides. And that's just because the water level, as you can see where it is on my rain boots now, it's just too high, and those wakes can cause those water levels to increase and potentially lead to flooding. In fact, it was so high that earlier today, the boat launch in the state park was closed. But crews have come out, they raised the ramp, and it is now back open. Going into the holiday weekend, boaters and campers can expect some limitations. If you head out on the water, you'll have to abide by the signs posted with a five mile per hour speed for a no wake zone. I spoke with a family who travels here from Pennsylvania and Charleston. They didn't want to speak on camera, but they did tell me they're disappointed to see the lake level so high, similar to what it was like back in 2017. And that's a feeling shared by the Fairhaven deputy mayor, who tells me something needs to be done, not just to combat the flooding we have today, but to prevent it again in the future. What we've got is some submerged docks throughout the bay, and uh, people have to use great caution because. You know, this is unforeseen, but it's one of these things that's happened and happened too often. The last two years, two out of three, it's not good. Yeah, it's not ideal for business owners, homeowners, and of course the local economy because this area does bring in a lot of tourists, especially this time of year. National Guard members were also out by the Little Sodus Inn earlier today, making sure that that sandbag barrier they put out is strong enough to keep those waves and that water away from the shoreline. In Fairhaven, Nicole Samavilla, News Channel 9.